Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our guitar kit series here. Uh, today we're gonna get back to work on this neck. So, so far we've done all our fret work on here. They're all leveled, crowned, fret ends are done and they're polished. And that part is the most important. So that is ready to go. The nut height looks fine. So that is, you know, also very important. Trust rod seems to be functioning properly and it fits. That's one of the big issues with the guitar kits. Often the neck doesn't fit properly into the body, but that's all done. But there is still quite a bit left to do. We've got to put a finish on this. Um, we've got to do some graphic work on the headstock, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. I actually might burn that in there. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Um, there's of course some sanding to do before the finish work because this thing needs to be a little bit smoother for that process. And then we have to oil the fretboard, contrary to what that one guy keeps saying when he finds all my videos that involve oiling fretboards and posts a huge message in a lot of capital letters saying that really you shouldn't never oil your fretboard, you should just put water on it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna disagree with him. Anyway, so we're gonna oil this one uh, when we get to that stage, but for now, what we're gonna do is some finish sanding on the back and we're gonna tape up the fretboard and get it prepped so that we can start putting a finish on it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's move in here and get to work on the sanding. As always, if you're interested in getting one of these kits from Solo Music Gear, please check out the links in the description below. I've got one to my kit page, which is where I keep some of their kits with affiliate links, or you can go straight to their website that has a bigger selection. Uh, and yeah, you can find what you're looking for. The product I'm going to be using for this particular portion of the finish is going to be Bellin's Solilux NGR Dye Stain. Uh, I'm also going to use some methanol because this is an alcohol based product and it's going to kind of allow me to get the weather look that I'm looking for. I'm not trying to get a perfectly even black, I'm going to kind of go for like an aged grey type look uh, which is going to kind of be in keeping with the rest of the guitar. So if you're interested in picking up some of this, I'm going to put an affiliate link for that as well in the description below so you can pick it up off Amazon. I would appreciate it if you guys are planning on getting it. If you get it through that, it helps me out. But of course, you don't have to. I'm going to do the same for my top coat, which is going to be some of Bellin's lacquer. So have a look at that stuff. I'll put a spray can version and a spray gun version. We're not at that point yet, but that is what I'm going to be using. So feel free to pick up some of that while you're at it if you want to be able to follow along when I get to that point. So enough yapping, let's bring you in closer and you can take a look at how I do this. Like I said, it's going to be methanol and the dye and we're going to kind of go back and forth until we get the gray that, well I shouldn't say that we're looking for, the gray that I'm looking for. Let's get to it.
you know, now that I think about it, I actually get a ton of requests for how to finish a neck with spray cans. So even though I'm going to be using a spray gun to put my final lacquer on there, I'm going to use a spray can right now to seal this guy up. It's going to be some of Bellin's vinyl sealer. I'm sure you guessed it. Link will be in the description. And, uh, and I'll show you kind of the technique that I use for getting a nice even coat. It's actually relatively straightforward. It's difficult because it's a curved surface, but you'll see that it's, it's a pretty standard technique. I won't speed it up or anything. Uh, I might slow down portions of it, but just so you can get a better view of how I'm doing it. We'll do that right now. Uh, this stuff dries pretty much instantly. Make sure you wear gloves if you're doing it. Yeah, let's take a quick look at this, how it looks now. You can see kind of the aged grayish look that I ended up getting for it. And then we'll move on to that spray. All right, guys, so that's that. We've got our sealer on there now. That is too close to you. There we go. Uh, when that dries, it's gonna mat out a little bit. It's gonna turn to more of a satin finish, and we'll scuff it up before we go ahead and put our gloss clear on there. And obviously, it being a neck, I'm not gonna leave this portion gloss, but I'll probably leave the headstock gloss. The neck itself, I'm gonna buff back down to about a satin so that my hand slides across it more easily and I can play quicker. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that and subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, don't forget to check out the links in the description if you're interested in using any of these products or picking up a guitar kit like this one. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good one and I will see you next time.